Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Your Average Logical Thinker. I appreciate you tuning in. I wanted to come on here and discuss Tiffany Haddish's new documentary highlighting successful women who date homeless men. Tiffany Haddish, you done lost your damn mind. What on earth gave her the idea that that would be cool? I mean, I just don't understand it. What are you promoting here? When you think about a successful woman dating a man all the way at the bottom, I'm talking about the, the I mean, you really scraping the bottom of the barrel. How can that possibly work? Even if it was a man who was very successful and he dated a woman he found on the street. How is that going to work? Now, mind you, I'm aware that there are always exceptions, right? Because she's going to highlight successful women who have done this. I want to know how successful the relationship is and how, how far did they follow these couples? Because when you have somebody who is successful, that means they have all of the basic tenets of life in order for them to get to the level of success. Whatever success is to you, it's relative, right? I'm going to imagine that this documentary is about women who are financially successful. Women and or men that are financially successful that date somebody that has nothing. I'm talking about they can't possibly have any kind of about food, shelter, clothing, security, safety. They don't have that. The only thing that type of person can do to a person up here is bring them down to their level. How on earth does this work? Who are you marketing to? Black women that watch BET Plus? Now, Tiffany Haddish says that at some point in her life, she was struggling and she was homeless. And she believes that everybody deserves love regardless of their situation. And she's right. But the kind of love a homeless person needs... They get that from their mama and their friends. Family and friends are supposed to come in and love you and, and, and pull you up. Not a potential mate. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's asinine. And I think it's a slap in our faces to do something like that. And you know what? First of all, I have a son. God forbid my son doesn't take advantage of all of the things that I've taught him so far and all of the opportunities that he's had and will have up into his young adulthood. If he doesn't take advantage of any of that stuff and he ends up homeless, say after the age of 25, 26, 27, I would caution any woman that has her shit together towards my son. I would tell her the same thing I told my brother. My brother got married to a woman that was older than him. She had two children. He said, yes, yeah, sis, I want you to get to know her. I want y'all to go out and hang out and be cool. Da -da -da. I said, listen, bro, I said, you don't want me. You don't want me with your wife. You don't, you don't, you don't even, you don't want me 10 minutes with her. Do you think he said, dang, sis, that's cold. I, no, because he knew. He knew damn well that if I got my hands on that woman for just 10 minutes, if my brother's watching, you know I love you. This is just a, a this is a public service announcement. I'm just trying to help somebody out there because I have a feeling that somebody who's watching this is in a position where they have met a homeless person and they are actually considering becoming intimate and moving that person into their place. And I'm trying to caution you, don't. But my brother already knew 
that there's no way that I would be okay with a woman because at the end of the day, I'm a woman and I got to look out for other women, which is why it baffles me that there are certain women who have the celebrity and they have this influence over lots of people and they choose to use their platform to bring women down. Is it a different perspective? Absolutely. And she's entitled to her opinion. But when you look at the overall concept of it, is it positive or is it negative? And who is it benefiting? Who is it benefiting? I'm sorry, but it's ridiculous. I don't stand by it. I never will. If somebody else has a different opinion other than mine, I please, please put it in the comments because I need to know. I need to, I need to hear an opposing not just the devil's advocate, right? Because it's fun to be that I could easily be, be the devil's advocate. But at the same time, I feel so strongly about this. Ladies, do not, absolutely do not spend your time, money, energy, your glow up, your bad. Nothing good can come of it. You can give charity. You can give them money, you can help them out, you can give them advice, you can mentor them, whatever. But moving them in your home, dating them, giving your body to them, there's nothing that person can do for you. Nothing that person can do for you. Please reconsider. D don't take Tiffany Haddish's documentary as a sign. Please. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't upload this before I got this part out because I totally forgot this, but I would be so remiss if I didn't mention the fact that mental illness is a huge, huge part of the homeless community. When I lived in San Fernando Valley and I would go down to Venice Beach and walk the boardwalk, I would talk to homeless people because I just wanted their perspective on life and on different things and they were always so open, but that's a Cali thing. I wouldn't try that shit in New York or anywhere else, right? <laughs> but um, I met so many with varying levels of education, um, life experience, and um, issues that brought them to where they were. And mental illness is real. So just think about the fact that a lot of these people have gone through something traumatic to get them in the position of homelessness, and then all of the things that they experience and encounter while being homeless that is also traumatic. So imagine bringing all of that baggage, all of that trauma into your life. Imagine it. You can't save everybody. You just can't. Do you guys remember the story of the young man who was a supervisor at Taco Bell? He allowed his employee who was homeless to come live with him. Things got so bad in the home, the manager said, I'm sorry, bro. I love you, but you just can't stay here no more. What do you think that young man did to his supervisor? Unalived him. That young man's no longer here. And all he was doing was trying to help somebody. You know what I'm saying? So just think about that. I just want people to understand that it's noble and it's good to help somebody in need. Sometimes we fall in love with people that are in need and that's okay, but you have to use discernment and you have to be aware. And before you decide to lay up with somebody who is in a far worse circumstance than you are, you have to think about what it is that you have to lose versus what they have to gain. And I'm gonna leave it right there.